Welcome to the Amazon EC2 screencast tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to attempt to set up a web server on Amazon's EC2 environment. We're going to cover signing up for a developer's account, installing the Firefox plugin, launching an instance of the server, testing the web server, and connecting via SSH. To get started, let's access the Amazon Web Services website. The URL is www.amazon.com slash AWS. On the main page you can see a link to sign up for an account, so do so if you haven't already. Once signed up, you'll be able to click on the Access Identifiers. This is a place where Amazon keeps two strings that you'll need later to configure the plugin. So copy these and paste them somewhere now or remember where you found them. Now we have to install the Firefox plugin. It's kind of tricky to find on the uh, Web Services site. From the uh, Web Services main site, locate the Resource Center link at the bottom of the page. From there you can access the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud beta link. And at the bottom of this page you should see a link called Developer Tools. From there, you simply look for the Firefox, Firefox extension for Amazon EC2. Clicking that will bring you to the installation link. Alternatively, you can just go to Google and type EC2 Firefox UI, and it's usually the first item that uh, shows up in the Google search results, so that's another shortcut to find it. Once you have the link, click on it from within Firefox of course and you'll be prompted to install the plugin so click install now after installation you'll be required to restart Firefox so we can click on the restart Firefox button here now under tools you should see the EC2 UI link this is what the screen looks like uh, before we get started, if you remember earlier we had some credentials on our Amazon account, you'll have to uh, enter those into the credentials link here. Now let's go ahead and launch an instance of an Amazon EC2 server. First we need to create a key pair. EC2 doesn't use uh, passwords for user accounts on the servers. Um, instead they use a certificate, so simply just click uh, to create a new one, give it a name, say OK. Then it should appear in your list. If it doesn't appear, oh, first you have to save it. You prompted to save it somewhere on your hard drive. And once it's saved, it should appear in the list. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and click Refresh. Next, we have to check our security groups. There should be a default security group already set for you. And this basically just says um, what type of access uh, is allowed on the running um, Amazon server that you're creating. So we want to be able to SSH and um, access it via HTTP as well for a web server. So you can see here, default, it already has ports 80 and 22 open. So that should allow us to connect to the web server and SSH. If you need to add other permissions, you can click the Add button, um, set a port range, and set uh, the types of access you want for this server. Now let's go back to the AMI instances. AMIs are Amazon machine images. There's a number of them pre-configured from Amazon and others in this list. We're going to find one that works for us. Um, we're going to pick a Fedora instance with MySQL and Apache running on it. Uh, are already configured to run Apache and MySQL. So here's one, Fedora Core 4, as you can see, it's got Apache and MySQL pre-installed on this uh, virtual image, or Amazon machine image. To launch it, you simply just click Launch Instances. From there, you can set a few parameters, the name of the instance, then you can pick small, medium, or large. The price Amazon charges per minute and the price varies depending on the size. Next it's going to need that uh, key pair that you created and it's going to need a um, access uh, selection so default um, is what we'll select here so we can hit the web server and access it via SSH. So let's go ahead and launch this instance. 
Now I want you to launch it down in the bottom under your instances. You'll see an entry for it and it says pending now. After a few minutes you should be able to hit the refresh button and you'll see that the server is running. Now let's go ahead and test the web server. They uh, give you this handy link here to copy the DNS name of your server, so we'll copy that. Let's open a new Firefox window. Paste in this new URL. And just like that, we've hit the web server on our new Linux instance that's running on Amazon EC2. Apache is already running, and we can see a test page from our web server. So next, let's try to connect via SSH. I'm going to just change directories to the place where I created my key pair. There it is. Now, one thing you have to do is just set the permissions on this file. So I set the permissions on this key pair that I created earlier with the plugin. Now I'm just going to SSH to this new instance. Um, I use the uh, key pair, then the username of root, and then at, and again, I just paste that public DNS name that I copied from the tool earlier, hit enter. And now you can see, see you can see we have an SSH client connected to our instance running on Amazon.